Hi everyone, my name is Gail and this is my presentation on the Parents Evaluation of Developmental Status Assessment, also known as the PEDS. What is the PEDS? It was developed by Dr. Francis Page Glasgow and it is a screening tool for detecting developmental delays and behavioral challenges in children. It is not meant as a diagnostic tool. It is important for early detection so that children may receive a referral for a more thorough assessment. Findings in the assessment may lead to early intervention before a child starts school. It is appropriate for children ages 0 to 8. And what I like about the PEDS is that it's a simple 10 item questionnaire. It takes about 5 minutes to complete and about 2 minutes to score. After completing the form online, the parents may print out a curated referral form to give to a healthcare provider if they wish to do so. What does the PEDS screen? Questions in the screener are categorized by concerns of cognitive, expressive language and articulation, receptive language, fine motor, gross motor, behavior, social, emotional, self-help, school, and it may also screen for autism. Administration. Who can administer the PEDS? Healthcare professionals such as pediatricians and psychologists may conduct the PEDS as an interview to parents during their child's appointment. Parents may also fill out the form while they are waiting in the waiting area. Teachers such as Head Start and preschool teachers may complete the form if they have any concerns about a student. Parents and caregivers may complete the form conveniently online, and instructions for scoring the response form is also provided. Each question of concern can be answered with a no, yes, or a little. There is also a section for open-ended comments. And each question is categorized in areas of concerns as mentioned in the previous slide. On the right is a sample of what the response form looks like. Scoring. The PEDS is divided into five pathways. Each item marked with a no will be marked with a zero, and items marked with a yes or a little will be marked with a one. Pathway A shows two or more concerns, meaning there is a high risk, and pathway B shows at least one concern, meaning a moderate risk. Children categorized in pathway A and B are recommended for referral for further evaluation. Pathway C shows non-predictive concerns or a low risk. Uh, children in this category, um, parents are recommended to receive counseling or parent training in the areas of difficulties. Pathway D shows communication barriers. Um, children categorized in this pathway are recommended to use another foreign language version of the PEDS. So there are several um, language ver versions of the PEDS. Pathway E shows no concerns, meaning there is no risk. Therefore, children are continue or recommended to continue regular checkup if any concerns arise. Psychometric properties. The PEDS was re-standardized in 2012 in 27 states and Canada to present the major geographic regions of the population. Inter-rater reliability is divided into categorization of concerns, which is a 95% agreement, and correct assignment to PEDS paths, which is in 97% agreement. Autism spectrum disorder was found to be in 79% to 82% sensitivity. I had quoted the article from Vitricus et al. For all ages combined, the PEDS2 has a sensitivity of 75% and a specificity of 74%. Psychometric properties are maintained across parental, educational level, socioeconomic status, and child rearing experience. These are the journal articles I used throughout my presentation, and these are my references. Thank you.